lot. I'm not telling you not to do this. Like it was the best wedding I could have had. I'm just telling you like what I regret, what I wish I had known, what I wish I did. So I'm not trying to like bring you guys down. I'm just telling you, these are the things. Just do this stuff and you will have a beautiful wedding. Basically, this video is going to be about our Chicago outdoor wedding. That video has gotten a number of views during this pandemic because people are doing outdoor weddings, they're planning their own stuff. I figured it'd be helpful to go over all the things I learned planning an outdoor wedding. That wedding, it really went off without a hitch. Not really though, because there were things that went wrong that I should have planned prior to so i'm just gonna go over the entire list i'm gonna have it right here on my phone of everything that went wrong that i could have like been aware of planned it better and i have a blog post on this too i'll link it down below if you don't feel like watching the video you can just scroll through all the stuff in the blog so basically i'll insert pictures of what the wedding looked like it was beautiful i mean this is exactly what i dreamed to have like an outdoor wedding it wasn't in a banquet hall and all dark and dreary and the carpet's ugly like i just knew i never wanted a wedding like that so it really went off without a hitch like we had a clear top tent i originally didn't even want a tent but we got one just to be safe and then we got gold shivari chairs we got centerpieces we had citrinovka which is this polish homemade vodka at every table we had a bar um, we took photos near this tree that I just put these like fake Amazon flowers on and it was beautiful. I do have to say like I'm very excited with how the photography even ended up. Like our photographer Rachel was amazing. Like if you're in Chicagoland area, I think she travels too. She travels. Definitely hit her up. Like she was amazing and just her energy was so good. Basically, I mean the first issue we had was... Well, it wasn't an issue. It was just something I didn't realize. So we also did a wedding in Punta Cana, a destination wedding, but my mom wanted me to get married in a church. So we had to do a smaller thing here, which ended up being bigger than Punta Cana. So it was like a full fledged 140 person wedding, but I didn't realize how much more planning the at home smaller wedding should have been smaller wedding would have been than the Punta Cana wedding. The Punta Cana wedding was so easy. It was just like, here are photos, make it happen they made it happen. But for the Chicago one, I had to find all the vendors. So I had to find chair people, I had to find linens, I had to find a dance floor, I had to find a tent, I had to find silverware, I had to find centerpieces, flowers, a bar. Like I did everything for that wedding and I was trying to do it like in the best price possible. So I got like different chair people and different linen people because like it was cheaper for chairs at this place cheaper for linens like i literally tried to get the best deal ever and our wedding probably cost 20 to twenty-five thousand dollars for 140 people outside in my cousin's backyard which was a huge backyard so we didn't have to pay a venue it was i think a steal for like the photos that it, what it looks like i think that was a steal something something i used to find all these vendors was thumbtack.com and i used it for our house renovations too and i found pretty good people on there okay so the bar is where this was the most work and it looking in hindsight probably would have just splurged the money and paid how much was the bar calling? Like a couple thousand dollars, I don't know, a couple extra thousand dollars to just have the caterer people do the bar and just upgrade the trim level. Like I'm like a car shopper. Upgrade the level of alcohol so we could have Tito's instead of Gordon's vodka or whatever they had. I wanted to do my own because I wanted white claws, I wanted rose, I wanted anything I wanted. Like I wanted my own stuff and I also wanted to save money. But it was so much work because I had to rent all the wine glasses, the champagne glasses. I didn't know how much to even rent. I had to get ice. I had to get... We had to fill it up with coolers the day before. No, all the alcohol was in the house. But we had to walk all the way back 
to the tent area the day before, fill it all up, and then at 3 p.m. I had like an app shipped deliver ice to the wedding coordinators and they had to fill the coolers up with ice and then two hours later everyone was coming for a cocktail hour and then all the extra alcohol was in the house but like I had to kind of like the bartender I had my um, cousin's friend bartend the wedding but I had to like basically be the like planner and like the, the person which was like why was I doing that on my wedding day I really kind of let them handle everything but like the day of or the day before I was realizing oh limes and lemons like so then the bartender had to go buy them on her own and cut them all up and get them all ready and like she set out stuff so like it was just a little bit too much stress that I needed we did also buy all the alcohol we only spent a thousand dollars for all alcohol we bought two thousand dollars worth we were able to return the unopened bottles so we only spent a thousand dollars worth of alcohol and that was just a feat just to like take it all out of the car that stuff's heavy like it was just a lot of work and then throughout the night we were running out of ice so my coordinators had to go buy ice at like the gas station and tonic water we were running out of that and so they pretty much were dealing with the bar because they forgot to tell me to do the bouquet toss and the garter thing because they were dealing with all of that so like i feel bad that i put that on them but that's what I needed help. I needed help for people to like help all the vendors and make sure everything was set up while we were at church. So that's why I hired a day of coordinator because I wanted them to just man the event while we were at church getting married. One thing I forgot, I didn't have a garbage bin by the bar, which was a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. And I also didn't have water bottles at the bar because I figured the caterers were just pouring water at the tables. But at cocktail hour, people wanted water because it was summer. That was a mistake. I'll show you pictures of the bar. I thought it was really cute and I got these bar signature cocktail photos of my dogs drafted up by someone from Etsy. And all that link is, all that info of vendors and stuff is in my Chicago wedding blog post. So having an outdoor wedding, the decor, I was there Thursday. The wedding was Saturday. I was there Thursday for like six hours, Friday for like six hours, setting everything up. So that is something that unless you like hire people, I don't know who you would even hire to like do all that stuff for you. Like I guess like your family members, but they want to have a good time too and like get ready for the rehearsal dinner and everything. So that was just a lot of work to do that. We want, I wanted to hang up lights on the trees. I wanted to hang up like flower things. I don't even know like what I would, who I would hire like online, like, like a helper. I don't even know, like come help me set up my wedding. I don't know. But the one thing I did learn to have a day of coordinator because you're not gonna be there and they need to help set up everything and all the, the decorations and they were just there to like help with the bar. But again, I would have just hired that out. And then if you're gonna do it my way, then you need help. I don't know how you're gonna find the help, family, friends, enlist like if you have like a 16 year old brother, be like, I'll pay your friend $50 to just help me. Like, I don't know, like just find people that aren't really close to the wedding because you don't want to put that on him. Like Colin's brother was in town for the wedding and we had him help and I just like felt bad after the fact. Like they're here to have fun and I don't need to like make them work, you know? So try to like have it planned, like hire people for the couple days before and the day after to clean up. The day after was insane because all the garbages were filled. We had to throw them out. I didn't even know where to put them. Um, it was so heavy. My brother, like it was so heavy because it was all beer bottles and stuff. That was really tough. We had to throw out all the garbage and there weren't even enough like garbage bins that my cousin had to put all the garbage in. So it was, that part was a lot i'm not telling you not to do this like it was the best wedding i could have had i'm just telling you like what i regret what i wish i had known what i wish i did so i'm not trying to like bring you guys down i'm just telling you these are the things just do this stuff and you will have a beautiful wedding for the caterer i sent them the final seating list and when i got there for the cocktail hour they changed one of the tables to like a prior seating list so just make sure that your vendors like have the updated information like this is the seating do not move it like print it out for the coordinator to give to the food vendor and be like by the way this is the updated seating do not change chairs like that was a little bit of a headache but other than that like it went really smoothly i'm trying to think if there's anything else i don't think there was anything else it went really smoothly we had a bus take us from the church 
to my cousin's house where the wedding was at um, for parking. We didn't do anything special, but we had a bus that people could have ridden in to not have more cars like parking wise. We did that and we had like rides home back to the hometown with the bus until like midnight. So we did that to check with your uh, county or village or whatever if there's like a noise ordinance what time curfew is if you need to like let them know there's a wedding so you don't have cops coming or whatever i also for all the neighbors i printed out a by the way we're having a wedding come feel free to join us so like i invited all the neighbors because i didn't want to be that annoying person throwing a party till midnight and one o'clock but yeah that was kind of it i hope this helped don't forget to check out the chicago wedding video i'll link it up here and the vlog that was super popular was rethinking throwing my backyard wedding because at the time i was like literally a day before helping like set everything up and i was like Ugh. but it ended up being so good um so yeah thanks guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and say hi to this one Misha, say hello